Hey everyone, how are you? Um, I have a, I want to do some shout outs and I have a couple of organizational things I want to show you. But the first thing is, um, I am a, um, I was a neighbor of one, uh, one of the fathers of the men that uh, has been missing from the USS uh, John McCain um, from that accident. So if you pray, please, please pray for the family because the outcome doesn't look good. So, um, you know, pr please pray for the man that's missing, all ten men actually, and, um, you know, the families. Okay, um, let me do the organizational thing first. Okay, first one is, you know I do those DIY five uh, diamond painting. Anyways, I store the beads in my bag. Well, they cause a lot of static electric electricity but if you put a piece of dryer sheet in there and kind of you know shake it up it actually will take most of that static out so I just was putting one in each bag until I came upon on uh, wish.com it was a um, nail art sorter you know for the nail arts what I had done it looks like this and it has these um, individual rows you know where you put your beads in what I did is I put took um, a permanent black marker made a little square and then I put the numbers across and every 5d 5d diamond painting kit it goes from one to whatever and then you correspond the letter or number with you know the number of the um, B. So it's just like an oil painting. Anyways, yeah. And this doesn't create static electricity. They're easy to pour out. And it's small enough. Let's see if I can find mine. Anyways, it's small enough for that green tray, the spout, to go in there um, if you go slowly to pour them back in. And then you just keep it in your larger box snap it up and it's ready to go you don't have bags all over the place you're more um, you're less likely to lose anything so yeah I haven't figured out how to put my tray and pen and stuff now usually I put the little pink adhesive in an empty one but um, and nine out of ten times you're not going to have 28 colors you might have the occasional where you have 29 or 30 and that's when I use the bag trick because I'm not buying a second one you know just for two numbers but this has served me well I've done like three of the uh, the diamond things with this and it's much easier to keep hold of everything and then let's go over here okay Ugh. all right I found this in a thrift store, oh, I don't know, maybe five years ago. And I have used this for organiz organizing a lot of different crafts. Um, these used to be those uh, mail sorters for the home. Had numbers 1 through 21, or 1 through 31. And you know, you put the letter in the slot for the, um, the day it was due. It comes with a bunch of these. Now I spray painted mine gold and you know the thing black, but this would be great for um, stickers, scrapbook paper, you know your scraps of your scrapbook paper, um, to sort by colors. I use these for my key fob material, um, tools like paint, you know paint brushes or um, all kinds of stuff like that. And then down here at the bottom. This is enough room to put like glue sticks or you know extra little tools that you may have. Um, this it has done very well for me. Oh, I got a glue stick stuck in the back. That's because I was tipping it to get it out here. But anyways, <clears throat> that has served me well for five years and I've used it for all different types of crafts. So that's, um, I think I paid like a buck for it. Um, so yeah, you know some of them old things are awesome for organizing um, things. So, 
Oh, let me turn you around here. Sorry. Oops, I did something. There we go. All right, let me get you back here. All right. So I wanted to um, do some shout outs to some uh, channels I've been watching. The first one goes out to Joanne DeBasso. She does a lot of um, hauls and she'll, um, she does lives, um, I think, twice a week. Um, I like her hauls because she describes the product very well. And um, if, she, if she has the opportunity, she even, you know, shows how it works. Um, she does, um, oh, what does she name those? Pass or fail or something like that. Um, she tells you which Dollar Tree um, items or any store item is worth the money. She does a lot of review um, on some items that are uh, sent. She does a lot of organizing crafts. Um, she will show you how to get, um, she showed like one of these pens that's kind of hollow. It's a, a transparent pen that was kind of hollow where you could put wrapping paper and stuff in it. She showed which are the um, best pens to buy for those. She just does a little bit of everything, and she's it's an awesome channel to watch. Um, I want to do a shout out for Cheryl Coyote. She does um, beads. She does some cooking. She does a lot of inspirational videos. Um, I like listening to her. She, I don't know, something about her voice calms me. Um, but she's very funny too. She makes me laugh. Um, I want to uh, shout out to Darlene Michaud. Um, she does a lot of crafts. I've seen her transform like a uh, men's shirt into a skirt and a crop top for a girl. Which Her crop top was the last one she did. And um, she does a lot of shows um, how to make quilt blocks very easily. Um, she now has a series of a crumb quilt, which I'm actually um, doing because she made it so interesting. Uh, she rolls her own beads. She does a lot. Um, she has one, at l one video at least a day, and maybe two. And I don't know, her laugh kind of reminds me of maybe one of the shows I've watched of Rosa Rosie O'Donnell. I don't know her laugh is just contagious I love her laugh um, Karen Cavett she is also a crafter um, she does many different things um, she also is on um, H or HTV handmade yeah she's one of the um, one of the people on there um, I do like her crafts um, she she I don't know, she just kind of puts something a little different into it. Some ideas that I would never think of. But she's pretty good. I like her. Um, and Our Half Acre Homestead. Um, Bev is... You know what, if I knew Bev in person, once if I met her the first time, I probably wouldn't like her. She's a very brash woman. Not brash, non-nonsensical. That's what she is. She doesn't put up with garbage, but she's very smart. She has some very great ideas um, on how to do with what you have instead of going out repurposing something. Um, and she has this little half acre with goats and chickens, and she's got two cute dogs. Um, I enjoy watching her when her videos come up. So yeah, those are my shout outs. Um, I will have their links to their um, home pages um, linked down below in the um, description box. But um, these are the channels right now that I'm enjoying a lot of. And I, I think I might do this once a week, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, uh, give them a look up, see, see what you think. So I'm gonna let you go right now. I, I'm very tired. I just had um, my unit inspection yesterday and I passed, thank goodness, I did. I'm very proud of myself, um, but I'm tired. We did, you know, getting the walls done and, and uh, the floors done and 
moving things back and forth and all the cleaning and stuff. I'm just, I'm hurting. I think it's going to take me a few days to recoup. But, all right. So, if you like my videos, give me a, um, you know, give me a chance. Watch a few of them. But, you know, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell beside it. And you'll, you know, you'll be sure to catch every one of the videos I upload. So, with that, I'm going to say good night. And everybody have a great day. And let's keep our servicemen in prayer, please. Thank you. Bye.